So we see the world differently than most of our mammalian cousins, and understanding this sort of thing can clarify a lot of the world around you. For example, why do hunters wear bright orange vests? You might correctly assume it's so they can spot one another, right? But why don't they wear chartreuse or bright yellow or any other equally detectable color? Well, as we just saw, the ability to detect reddish colors was lost during the Mesozoic, and the great apes, including humans, regained it. But deer did not. So deer can only see two ranges of color, blue and yellow-green. Deer have great smell and hearing, and they've got great night vision, but they're not sensitive to red or orange light. And that's why hunters wear blaze orange, which is easily spotted by the other humans, but not by the deer. This color that helps hunters spot each other at a distance makes them nearly invisible to their prey. In this case, our evolutionary divergence from other species, our trichromatic vision and their dichromatic, becomes a tactical advantage. We can design ourselves to be invisible to them. And by the way, this is why you see in nature red birds. It's the same idea. The red birds can be there against the green leaves, and they don't have to worry about getting spotted because their predators are red-green colorblind. And it turns out it's genetically easier to express red than green. So expressing red feathers is a perfectly good way to go. Now let's come back to the deer hunters. Note that they never wear blue jeans. Why not? Because deer are much more sensitive to blue even than we are. To them, blue jeans shine like a warning beacon. So the hunters wear camouflage or earth tone pants to blend in.